volunteer meeting. Um, the notification process is entirely on the applicant side. The county does not do any of the notification, the send out, the mailing, the posting of the newspaper. Um, but they are required to follow the county's development guidelines when it comes down to post and publish notice. It's in our subdivision uh, development regulations, uh, chapter 701, sub chapter 9. And uh, for the purpose of the adjacent property owners, um, I know it needs to go out to contiguous properties that are within a 200 foot buffer of the subject property. So the, the applicant was required to do that, and if they did not, then we will definitely look into that and they ensure that proper notification goes out. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Also, ma'am, do you have any response to Mr. Patterson's initial discussion? I, I, I have a question. I have a question on that line. Mm -hmm. Will the, the Development Services Department be willing to work with the county commissioners to change these kinds of meetings to always be posted so there is no hint of stink? A hundred percent. Okay. Willing, we're willing to work with okay. the community as much as possible. And that's why, yeah, when we were discussing earlier, I mean, right. for the purpose of what they're trying to accomplish here, we would go through the checks and balances and make sure everything's straight and correct. But even in addition to that, I'm, I'm more than positive with the, well, the county commissioners and the court and the judge, we'll be willing to hold a meeting, <coughs> another public meeting, and we can even send out an invite to those that want to join in remotely or virtually. To have well, a and, and, and here's the point. Not everybody subscribes to the Hayes Free Press. I think their circulation is down about 80% from their peak. Correct. That's not enough notification. So I, I would like I the county to make sure that these meetings are locally, legally posted so that people can remotely ask questions and comments. Correct. And like I mentioned before, so the requirement, the baseline requirements is, and we can de definitely look into that certification of all proper notification going out to all contiguous property owners. And I know that's but not your, your the fault. Published, yeah, the published notice, um, unfortunately we can't pick and choose which newspaper it goes to. It's just, the, and as it's defined in our regulations, it just states a local newspaper of the county. Right, but this happened. would all be cleared up if we made a regulation that said these yeah. kinds of meetings need to be posted just like any other. Well, yeah, we definitely can work on that improvement. I have numerous times in the past asked Mr. Pacheco and he has effortlessly supported it to go above and beyond on other projects and communicating with the community because that is it is critical no one wants pitchforks you guys don't want this I can tell by your body language you'd rather be somewhere else <laughs> so I get it I'm I'm understanding the the scope and the complexity and the big missing pieces of information for the community and so Mr. Pacheco has no problem bringing an agenda item to court so that we can create continuity and uniformity in doubling down in the transparency effort to invite everyone that wants to know so we can shake everything out once and for all, have a definitive roadmap, and then start working towards it. I think that's useful. 